Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Virgos. Virgos, we're going to check in on your current situation or the person most on your mind. So while I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, and if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Sorry guys, I have some peekers from my other deck. All right, Virgos, let's go ahead and see what's going on in the love lives of my dearest Virgos. So overall energy, please, for my dear Virgos. All right, we've got the Seven of Cups. So some of you guys, you might be a little bit confused. Um, you might be dealing with a few different options or maybe your person is. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you may have that in your chart. All right, Virgo, so your person, the way they're thinking or feeling, Three of Cups. So your person, again, could be dealing with a few different options, could be, you know, happily kind of single or just sort of casually dating, okay? Um, but it could also be that this person wants to reconcile or wants to ask you out, um, ask you out for drinks. Virgo, they're seeing you as the moon, so very secretive, very mysterious. Again, you could have Pisces or Cancer in your chart here. Um, the moon is somebody who's very romantic, that has a lot of emotional depth. So again, it could be that you're just getting to know this person and they're kind of seeing you as kind of like a little bit deeper, um, that there's something, there's something very sort of mysterious and romantic about you or that you're holding something back. All right. Wow. Some of you guys, this person absolutely is on their way back in the eight of cups. This is what's hidden. Um, if you guys, you know, maybe you guys are in separation and this person looks like they're happily dating and they're playing the field or whatever it might be. This person's on their way back. Okay. Um, they might just be trying to figure out what's going on with you. And final outcome energy, the king of pentacles in reverse. All right. Interesting. So Virgo, this could really turn your world upside down. I see that this, this is your energy. Um, but again, you just have to be careful because I'm not sure this person is going to come back and offer you any sort of safety, security, and stability, because I do feel like you might have a player on your hands, but let's go ahead and we'll dive a little bit deeper. So we have the nine of wands. So some of you guys, um, you guys have been through a lot with this person, or maybe you guys have just been through a lot in love. Some of you might sort of feel like you're giving up here okay the nine of wands to me always speaks to a past life connection for some of you there was a third party situation involved whether you have options or whether they have options the two of swords somebody you're needed to make a decision um you know and at virgo if you felt like you were competing for this person's affections you might have just pulled out yeah you might have just said you know what i'm not i'm not doing that but I feel like it's with a very heavy heart, okay? And this person, you know, I feel like Virgo, you might have even, I don't feel like you ghosted this person, but this came out in the Aquarius reading as well. That you might have just sort of like, if you felt like you were competing for this person's affections or you never knew where you stood with this person, I think you just, you just disappeared. Yeah, like, and, and not ghosted them, but you just said, you know what, I don't want to be a part of this. And they're wondering, hey, where's Virgo? Because this person might be somebody who's used to getting a lot of attention. This might be somebody, you know, I feel like this person is a bit of a player or they have a bit of an ego here. Um, this is person who, this is somebody who likes to be seen, who likes to go out. They may be a social butterfly or maybe they just talk to a lot of people. I am getting strong Gemini energy coming through here for some reason. Um, although I don't have any Gemini cards, but that's what they showed me with that three of cups. All right. So let's go ahead and see seven of cups, confusion, illusion, the fool in reverse, not wanting to take a risk. Yeah. Some of my Virgos, I feel like this is your energy. Some of you guys, you, you felt like getting involved emotionally with this person or taking things any further, or maybe you guys just ended it because it felt too risky for you. Yeah, you guys could be very different from one another. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. Um, you know, and I feel like for some of you guys, you just close this out because either this person wasn't what ready to take a risk with you, or you felt like their behavior was too risky or that you were competing for their affections. And so I, Virgo, I just feel like you pulled out. Absolutely. Now, again, it could be vice versa, but I feel like this is more your energy. This person, they're not feeling very confident though. So if you're seeing them like posting pics, pictures on Facebook or on Instagram or on social media or whatever it might be, 
this person wants to come in and make an offer. They want a second chance. They want to put in the work. Okay, but there have been a lot of delays and frustrations. Yeah, and these delays and frustrations, for some of you guys, this person might have a Virgo moon or maybe you do. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. The Page of Pentacles tells me this person's actually really shy. Um, this person might have a few issues with commitment or even self-worth. And that's why they sort of surround themselves by a lot of options with a lot of options or a lot of people. They might, I'm, I'm hearing them laugh. So I don't know if you work with this person or, you know, you're just seeing all their photos or videos or something, but I feel like a lot of it is a front Virgo because that page of pentacles, that's somebody who's nervous. That's somebody who's a little bit scared. All right, the magician, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Here's that Virgo Gemini energy I'm picking up on. You could be dealing with another Virgo or a Gemini. Um, this person does want to reach out to you. This person sees you, Virgo, as somebody who has everything that they want, but they're not sure what's going on with you. I think they're looking for you. I really do. I mean, they may be watching your social media, but I think they're kind of like hoping they're going to run into you or see you. They may be going to certain places um, where you, where they know that you frequent or where they might sort of run into you. So we see the moon card. This person has a lot of regrets. They want to come out of the cold. Um, yeah. Wow. There's, I think it's taken them at, I think they are really surprised Virgo, how much they miss you. I really do. You could be dealing with the Pisces or you have Pisces or cancer in your chart. Again, you could be dealing with the cancer, but this person they're seeing, I think they're also really surprised that you just, you just disappeared or that you just moved on. Cause I think this person is used to getting a lot of attention and they thought that you were going to, you were going to give chase. I really do. I think that you were going to chase them. They thought you were going to chase them and they're like, where the hell did Virgo go? We get the eight of cups in reverse. Yep. This person's worried that you're going to reject them. They don't know what's going on with you. Although I do think they're watching your social media. Okay. So they have an idea, but I don't think they know if you're in a commitment or not. And the knight of pentacles. Yeah. They're afraid. They're afraid you're in protective mode. That's what I'm getting with this knight of pentacles. And you've pulled your energy way back Virgo. Yeah. Because you don't want to deal with this. You don't want to deal with this BS. That's what I'm getting. You want safety, security, stability. You know, you're very giving and very loving Virgo. And I feel like this person, they weren't doing that in return, but they are surprised because they thought they had more time or they thought that you were going to chase them. All right, so we see the Eight of Wands, no communication, Ten of Swords. So some of my Virgos, this is what I'm getting. If they don't come in and offer you safety, security, and stability, you're done. You're moving on with somebody else. But I also feel like with this King of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands in reverse, that this person wants to fight for this connection. They know they've got to level up in order to heal things. Okay. And, and they may be this person with that, with that magician card, they might be manifesting a second chance with you. I'm just going to pull another card. Queen of cups. This person loves you, Virgo. They have a lot of love for you. Okay. They see you as this queen of cups. Um, but you know, she's also emotionally guarded. She's somebody that, you know, she, you may, I feel like you were vulnerable with this person at one point in time with that moon card but they know that that energy has shifted. The Ace of Pentacles, they're worried that there's a missed opportunity. Wow, this person absolutely wants to heal things. Look at that, you are their wish fulfillment. Some of them, they see, wow, they're seeing the situation completely different. Here you are, Virgo. And look at this, the Page of Wands in reverse. This person doesn't have a lot of confidence. They project confidence, but that's because deep down they're insecure. The Justice card, they see you as their soulmate or their twin flame, or they wanna, they wanna balance the scales. They, I think they're taking a look at their actions or their behavior towards you. You are their wish fulfillment. Okay, there's been some sort of ending. This person may be transforming. And Virgo, that's because of you. But I also, because of your silence. If you guys are on a twin flame journey or a deep soulmate connection, your, your energy is really affecting them. You've pulled back and that's activated something. But they've gone within and they're taking a look at their behavior three of swords. This is, this is regret. This is sadness. This is, I want to come out of the cold. I want to apologize. But some, for some of my Virgos out there, you guys have given yourself closure. You've been doing your own healing. You've pulled back. You've maybe even just sort of been in your cave, just doing your thing. You are calling in a new soulmate. But for many of you, this person, it's a past person that wants to come back to you. Um, because they're absolutely, they're seeing things differently. They've had some sort of awakening and they're scared that they've missed an opportunity. And Virgo, they may have, okay? It's going to be up to you. 
This is a theme coming out with a lot of my readings. There's like a lot of past people coming back in, like it's Mercury retrograde, right? And we are still kind of in that shadow period, the very end of it. So what I'm seeing here though, Virgos, you guys have a choice. Some of you guys, you, know, you just don't want to be involved with this drama. You might be seeing this person as just a little bit too pompous or arrogant or even foolish and you're closing out this cycle. But for others of you, there's love here. So let's go ahead and see what else comes through. Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Virgo, I feel like that's you. I feel like you guys are working a lot. I do see your finances getting better. Okay, you guys might have had some sort of financial challenges or you're coming out of poverty or something like that. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Many of my Virgos, I feel like you are letting this person go. You have let them go. Some of you guys, this person buried themselves in work trying to let you go. It's not working. Fate. Well, it's not working because this is a destined partnership. <laughs> Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So it definitely could be work that got in between you guys. It could be a third party situation, right? Where somebody was a workaholic. Virgo, I'm shaking my finger at you because I'm a Virgo rising. And I know sometimes we work for fun. All right, but <laughs> somebody wants you to come out and play. All right, let's go ahead and see what else comes through. Retreat, time alone, or nature will help you recharge. You definitely pulled your energy back, and this relationship can stand the test of time. So for some of you guys, this person is going to come back in. They want to heal this. They're manifesting this. Okay, they're nervous. They're anxious. Okay, they're worried you're going to reject them or you're never going to give them another chance. Children, some of you guys, you saw this person as a player or you saw them as very foolish. We also have self-care coming out. This is Venus in Virgo. We do have Venus moving into Virgo on my birthday on July 21st. So, um, you know, it might be around then that this person reaches out. Um, and I feel like that's what you're doing, Virgo. I think you're really taking care of yourself. But we have apology. You can expect the apology. Sorry. You can expect the apology you want to hear. So this person... I do feel like they're reaching out, Virgo. All right, let's see what else comes through. I really miss you. Yeah, this person misses you big time. Divine masculine hero. So this might be your divine masculine or that's how they see themselves. I just heard, I just saw somebody say, I really effed up. That's I saw someone like put their head on their head their hand on their head and just sort of shake like, oh my gosh, I really effed up. They don't want to let you go. And I think they feel you moving on. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. Every piece of you is perfect. They have you on a pedestal. Yeah. Some, some of you, they see you as the mother or father of their children. They want to ask you out on a date, but they're worried you're going to reject them, Virgo. And we get ego, pride, and fear sabotage. Yep. They're looking at that. They are looking at that. And, and again, remember, there's a lot of ego here with this person, but I do feel like underneath it all, they are quite a softy. And I check up on your pages often, so this person's watching you. All right, if you feel like they're out having fun, they've moved on, they haven't. Okay. Photograph, yep, they're looking at your photos, whether that's online or photos that you sent them. This could be your twin flame, Virgo. <laughs> oh, Virgo. Oh, Virgo. Hammer. So sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. I think they're working on a way to come back into your life, Virgo. And they do want to work on it, but they are so scared of rejection. Yeah. And then we get seduction. So I do feel like this person does want to seduce you. Now, it could be that there was some sort of third party influence, but more than anything with all of this work card, Virgo, I feel like your third party is work. Either you work too much, they work too much. Maybe you guys weren't putting enough into this connection and you guys kind of got away from each other, but you guys are very, very attracted to one another. Okay. Now this person, again, it's possible, okay, that this ego, this ego pride and fear sabotage, they could be in a third, they could be seeing other people. Maybe they didn't, they kept their options open. Okay. They're very attracted to you, but that's because this person has a fear of commitment or the feelings that they were catching for you. And we have lightning here. So sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany. So this person, you're either going to run into this person or you're going to hear from them out of the blue transformation because they want to transform the way things have been going here. 
All right, Virgo, so let's see what else is coming through. Wow. Some of you guys, this is your twin flame, or you guys, I, I do keep getting Gemini energy, so when I see that twin flame card, it could be that you're dealing with a Gemini or somebody with Gemini placements in the near future. So expect the unexpected. Fleeting romance. Interesting. So some of you guys, you're going to just say, you know what? Time's up. I'm sorry. You know, I, there, at one point, in a time, one point in time, I would have given you the world. I would have done anything for you or to repair this. Maybe too little, too late. But you know what? We get the lightning and the tower. Somebody's going through a major awakening here, Virgo. And I don't actually think it's that easy for you to let them go. Fleeting romance, again, if there was a third party, they're going to tell you that. It didn't really mean anything. And it doesn't mean that they left you or they betrayed you. It just could have been that, you know, you guys were never really truly in a connection. Or you guys were just sort of starting to get to know one another. Or you guys were separated. They were with somebody else. So there is a little bit of a fear of manipulation here. We see that with the, the magician energy and insecure. I told you, this person is very insecure, Virgo. They're very insecure. And I feel like that manipulation energy could also be, you know, like trying to appear like they're all that or they get a lot of attention. But I don't feel like their other connections run deep at all, okay? Whoops, before I pull those, I want to see what would they like to say to my Virgos out there? What would they like to say to my Virgos, please? All right, we get, I become, I'm becoming a better person. Yeah, they, they're trying. And we get, I left you when I saw you with someone. That could be you, that could be them. It could have also been something that they just sort of like, that somebody assumed okay, and pulled back. And again, Virgo, if you felt like you were competing with this person, sorry, competing for this person's time and energy, it's like, you know what? I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. And the thing is you don't, okay? You don't. Let's see what else comes through. Final messages for my Virgos. I do miss talking to you. Yeah, this person misses you. Sometimes I think you can be con a little controlling and that pushes me away. Okay, that could be for you. That could be for them. And we get, we belong together. Yeah, this is the awakening. I'm learning to open my heart and I suck at goodbyes. This is only goodbye for now. Yeah, Virgo, this person's trying to come back around. Okay, I think they're they're coming into this realization that you guys belong together. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.